Hi, this video is going to be an experience in PSP w, WMRC. It's already open and that's the SXHKDRC. In short, it's the file for all the keyboards. That's the one you need to read. That's the one that's interesting. That's why this looks so strange and all that. So we're gonna figure out what shortcuts there are. Everything that I type is shown as you see. So that's gonna be great. This is because of the screen key that's available up here. That's not standard issue. That's for me to show what I'm pressing on all these, these buttons here. Now let's um, also tell you that if you go to another desktop, there is always something present first time you get into a system. Because a con key is not really necessary in um, Windows styling managers in general. It's just there to get you started with a super enter and a super shift enter. So let's maybe follow these guys already here. So super shift D is what we have as a D menu, that's it's called. And if you, let's take something that's already interesting, we've shown already that. EXO preferred applications, if you remember that word. So EXO, it would be great and then you'll find it. And this is your thing to set, no, I would like Vivaldi. I would like to have something else. Jiri is not installed. Utilities, Tunar, Nemo, Nautilus, whatever file manager you desire, Ranger, and another terminal, please. Thank you very much. So this is a way to set everything right. So that's the D menu, so Super Shift D. Alt menu is there really to help the first beginners to, no, 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 sorry, not this one. This is actually knowing everything and, and, and actually know that the name is not Vivaldi, but that the name is Vivaldi Stable or v Vivaldi Snapshot and stuff like that. So it's definitely not for beginners. It's the next one that I meant. Alt F3 is our menu, a complete menu from XFCE. So if you're moving across your, your learning curve, from XFCE to OpenBox and i3, maybe also, maybe this one, then you'll find your things again. You'll be able to uh, analyze your, your system. Everything is here. If you don't recall the name, you just go over the menu. Super Shift Q kills it. Super Enter. Super Enter. Super is this Windows key. Okay. We have also and uh, this is super enter we have control alt t which works as well and there was another one is it this one yeah super t i'm more a kind of uh, super return kind of guy and control alt t is also burnt into my fingers okay so we are here the terminal super shift enter super shift enter starts Tunar or if you would like Nemo or if you'd like Nautilus but you have to change the keyboard shortcut there. Vivaldi Ctrl Alt V. It's very fast this BSP WM. Super F2 editor. Super F2 up here Eric. This is Atom. So Atom takes a while because it loads also all kind of elements straight into my uh, a thing here so okay fine that works now it's packed with with software super f2 f3 f4 f5 f6 7 8 9 10 i'm not gonna test them all out but it's all packed and then change the layout that's an interesting one super space super space so uh, let's open that one and that and maybe also firefox in here and then we have super space Super space does some things to our system. As you can see, we can go through it and, and see what we can uh, change. So super space. Okay, killing everything again. Super space, change layout. Control shift escape, control shift escape. A shortcut you should know. And then it's gone again. Ctrl Alt U is there because I need my Bluetooth settings always. Uh, we have this Bluetooth setting and uh, we just say, tell the system, hey, go play on that, uh, well, 
that hardware. So it's here. Print screen, of course, take a screenshot, done. It's taken. Where is it? Maybe you would wonder, hey, where is it, Eric? Control H, and then go to the pictures, and here's your screenshot. You can open it with GIMP, which is not a good idea. It takes too long. Not really an application to show, except this one. So open with other application. I'm going to save this one forever. Use as default for this kind of file. OK. So there you go. It keeps being a tiling window manager. So if you want this bigger, Super F for a full screen, that's your image, Super F again, and then you've seen it. And you kill it. And you kill it. So, done, done, done. Restart BSPWM. So, Super Shift R. In another tutorial, we've talked about this. Super Shift R is okay, but you might screw up your system in the sense I don't know what you'll be putting in your auto start .sh. That is your uh, application to run everything. So if you do super shift R, it really restarts everything that's in there, like the polybars in there, varieties in there. Uh, I will add Robux in there, I will add InSync in there. And they all be, will be restarted and you, you'll get strange behavior, strange messages, because the application complains that it's restarting again. So the better thing to do, well, this is the fast thing to do, and the other way is super X, log out, log in, and that's the neat way to do it. Because you'll restart and restart and restart applications and there will be issues at some point in time. That's my advice. Stop BSPM, super shift X, super shift X. Killed everything. So we're out. Same with super X with a nice icon. This is Super Shift X, and then you're restarting BSPWM. Uh, sorry, stopping. And then Super Shift Q, we've done that a lot of time now, and Super X. So we've, we know now the shortcuts. We can actually delete or delete, not, but um, tell to the file manager, dear file manager, we have BSPWM. With another tutorial, we've moved everything that we needed. We've moved it moved into bookmarks. You can say just click and drop, and it's in here in here and remove again. So what I wanted to do quickly is say goodbye Conky, I don't need you anymore. So Conky is gone. And for this one, particularly, you'll need to log off. So super shift X, log back in, and there's no Conky anymore. And I would like to have an old other wallpaper, another wallpaper, another wallpaper, another one, one to the right, what about this one. So, keyboard shortcuts, not finished, long video, what more? Let's go inside the file. This is your keyboard. So let's open it with Atom. This is your going to be your uh, reading. And you have a little file here, a little um, arrow or whatever it is, smaller than. You click it and you have more space to, to read and to follow along. So Super F1, I'm not going to press all of them. Super F2, everything starts. Super F5, it's all the same as an open box, as an i3, as an XFC. We don't want any trouble. We, our fingers know already where every application is. So if, when we change to another uh, desktop, they should be present. Spotify F10. Rofi maybe, Super F11. Uh, Super F11 is this look, and Super F12 is this look. Control Alt R is going to show you all the things. Uh, we are going in the process now of making these beautiful looks. As you can see, they are following the arc themes that we've made, and Rofi will follow this as well, like so. So Alt A, and then Super F12, and you have this other look. So that's uh, Rofi, and those updates will come shortly. Super keys, all programs. Super F is the one I use a lot to say, let's focus on this window. I often forget that it's focused, and I start Vivaldi or something like that. And then I say, uh, OK, everything is now again out of focus and strange. So OK, that's because Super F, like so.
okay super h always an interesting thing to do why because you see how hard your cores are working yeah four cores okay oops wrong button my mistake that will happen to you as well <laughs> i say hey it's broken it's a human mistake to type in the wrong things that's okay it's restarted again were wary somewhere here super f music players the toggle pseudo tiling of window super p let's try that one out super p probably nice and if you want to move it around you can i'm pressing now super and right mouse click super mouse uh, super and then right mouse click makes it a little bit bigger or smaller um, checking out what was it again this one no okay so super p again it's not one i use often this guy super p thing super x is firefox super r we've seen no did we see that uh, super r is the same as ctrl alt r so we have two things to go to it it's it's what the user likes super t okay works as well powerful control we've seen that super v well actually we saw control alt u <laughs> And that's the same as super v so different ways to go to rome which is normal vivaldi on below gout x skill super escape that's an interesting one let's kill super escape is this nice little skull here whatever you touch it dies all right that's good sometimes you need it super return urxvt I, I explained in another tutorial control find termite there is no termite in our configuration anymore we are all termite in other distros uh, desktops but we decided to go for a human well a different character different personality in this bspwm to have your xvt so that's our experiment super shift return we've done that enough the d menu is here reload is super shift r you know maybe it's better to do log off depending on what you have installed there super shift s that's not one i use often super shift s so if you have created new keyboard shortcuts and then you want to reload it you can do like this you can reload bsp wm you can log out log in it's all good it's this is going to reload only the keyboards and the kill you do it all the time log out super shift x we've done that app finder we've seen it with another shortcuts but it's this one catfish evolution firefox it doesn't look for doesn't show you hey i'm not the default one nitrogen if you want to set the wallpaper screen locker we have done that screen locker is now these eyes it's all set in uh, your system via the scripts Control alt m it's in i've shown it already in the tutorial but it's important to show you here again this is where you go set everything up with your mouse and your teach the touchpad keyboard bluetooth stuff i mean it has so much things also the exo preferred applications this is the same thing this is the thing the same thing as Control shift d so preferred application that i showed earlier on is just bigger that's it so we are at 180 content toggle off uh, control alt o super shift now super return this is definitely content kicking in it's transparent and now they say control alt o control alt o all right it's gone transparency gone maybe you like it maybe you don't it's maybe interesting for videos and virtual box applications stuff like that where you don't want to be uh, to have any transparency at all 
So it just uh, control alt o done. Spotify S control T. We've seen the theme, we've seen that atom or XVT. Wallpaper trash we've done that as well. Alt next, alt arrow to the right, alt left. And it changes that Star Wars theme. Let's leave it at that. If you want to have a to put it away for you with your favorites. So that's all variety. PayPal. We haven't done PayPal, but we'll keep that one for a separate tutorial. That's gonna be fun. Okay, PayPal, Pi <laughs> PayPal, Pi Wall. And I thought I said it wrong. The command itself is called wall. It's strange. But it is Pi Wall that you install. And you can always donate on Paywall. Scruts. So if you print print screen and control print and GNOME when control shift print. So the GNOME can make screenshots in GPG. XFC can't. This is smaller for a website. This is way back, way big. I mean, two megabytes and 100 kilobytes, you know. Some media keys that maybe you need to set. So have uh, volume raising things, mute things. We use NPC. And it works on um, URXVT. And these things, so these elements, player CTL will work for Braga, Spotify, and others. And if you say, no, nope, I'm, I'm definitely going with NCN PCP, P, and it's all explained on Ctrl Alt F. It's a lot of tutorials out there on Arco Linux. I wonder, and then you wonder probably the same. Where is it? We have two websites, so you check out PCPP, I think it was. <laughs> I always forget it. So a lot of texts about this thing. Go check it out. Change the design, technical stuff, external music library, add it to it, and then just the thing to install, but it's already installed. You just need to use it. So all these, these things are in here for your music. Let's kill this and so that this is bigger. Uh, so the Azerti keys is explained if you are, are have if you have an Azerti key you need to change here some codes in a separate tutorial. This is quite important. Focus selected desktop alt tab. Well, important is just the alt tab. So we move from this desktop up here to three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and with a shift we move. We should move in the other direction, but I guess yeah we. We did not do that, we just go, we toggle around like this. Because I remember there was an issue or something. So we've left that out. So Alt Tab works, uh, Super Tab works, fine. Focus Next, Control Alt Left, Control Alt Left. You see the blue lines coming from to the left and the right. So that's working. That's this one. Control to right, done. Control to up. Well, if, if there is an up, then you can go up. Control alt left. Yes, control alt up. Focus to the north. So that's it, like so. But of course, I just click with my mouse, but it's there, the shortcut is there. Down is the same. Rotate desktop. So um, there's alt space, which is this one. That's also a neat trick to switch things. Okay. Um, focus swap. That's something I rarely use. Super shift and then H and, and J. What is it again? Super. Shift, I'm not pressing it right, super and that one. And then L is that one, M is this one. Oh my God, but it's all in there. You check it out if you want to use it or not. The gamers probably, I think these are keyboard shortcuts for gamers as well, if I remember correctly. I'd rather use this guy, control, super, left, up, down, right, because I have a separate I have a big keyboard and I have a separate keys for my arrows, which is, well, 
a little bit easier. So control super and then left, right, up, down is for me the fastest way to do it. Flip layout vertically, super shift and an A, super shift and an A. All these little shortcuts and let you uh, do the rest. Um, I want, don't want the tutorial to be too big. There are still other things I want to explain. Um, super space, we've done that, I guess, or not. In one of our tutorials, super space, we've seen that at some point in time, so we're here now. Focus parent brother, pre selection, splitting, cancel pre selection. Okay, that's not that interesting but it's it's a uh, neat super uh sorry super f what am i doing what am i doing let's kill it so what i wanted to show you as well which i use all the time is telling this system to move around because people tell me hey eric this is not interesting at all because when you press Ctrl Alt F and then this Firefox is, is too small and, and, and what what and why and etc. So what I'm doing right now, what you just saw me doing, is keeping in super, pre keep pressing super and then drag with the left mouse click to another window. That's one of the settings in the, the keyboard the shortcuts there. And we can say, okay, I want this one there. And we can also make this bigger for a while. And this is done with super and then right mouse click and dragging, dragging it around. You see? And then this one is going to be bigger. It's, it's just what you want to do. That's one. And two, what I always do if, if I say, okay, this needs to be focused on a separate desktop, which is what I most do mostly do is then clicking on this Firefox super shift one and now it's now on, on, on desktop number one and this guy this guy here gets all the attention now and again with super right mouse click I can drag it and say this file manager is more important than this terminal for the moment and I want to have this here and I'm going to update here but it doesn't need to be that 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 big I can do it like this and keep following along what's what's happening in my updates but it's tiled like I want it so this is is good we can move it around we can put this one with super shift 3 it's now in here it follows also the focus so we've decided to tell when you move something to another desktop that the focus is already there as well so you don't stay in, in number one, but you move away with it, you follow it. That's an option we implemented. I guess it's uh, time to call it a, a day for this tutorial. I think um, the most important keyboard shortcuts I've explained. I've not explained them all, so you check them out and have fun.